Hello everyone, this is The Pretend Critic and thank you for watching my channel. So I recently watched Doom Patrol, Episode 4, Cult Patrol, Episode 5, Raw Patrol. Was it worth watching? <laughs> Before I go ahead and tell you what I thought about the two-parter or the episode of Doom Patrol, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel. I really like the way that Doom Patrol has been from episode one to three. Um, I have, I'll leave a link down below of what I thought about it. I'm just giving you a quick uh, thoughts about it and then I'll go ahead and do a spoiler <clears throat> episode or a spoiler video once all of it is done. This one was a two-parter. Um, cult Patrol was about a cult that um, worshipped the decreator, which is basically an eye, and, and decreates everyone uh, from things to human beings. Basically, end of the world. And Doom Patrol, with it, all its weirdness, this worked. Episode 4 uh, introduced us with that, and the puppet and Normheim which is basically uh, another dimension. And it's very, the way that they had it, it was something that had to do with the snow glow. Uh, the great thing about episode four is you see Rita, um, her character becomes more fleshed out than her, not really her origin, but she's growing. Um, so is Cyborg and so is Negative Man. And the good thing about it is it felt like it, but it was not really a filler because it just kept continuing the story with interesting and weird stuff. So I've always thought Doom Patrol now is the outer limits and twilight zone of uh, superheroes. And they hit this nearly out of the ballpark. There are some issues. I mean, there are also some weirdness that I've like. Uh, you're going to see a talking hologram uh, head of a horse or a unicorn. And you're going to see a Constantine-like character. The uh, Nip or Kip, I forgot his name. It's really great. And Robot Man, played by Brandon Fraser, is still great. He's actually the conscience or something that I think about. And whatever he says is what I think. And that's, that's still refreshing. In episode 5, this is a two-parter, episode 4 and 5. Episode 5... The Raw Patrol is where the decreator is there. And then they had to do a plan to go ahead and reverse it. The chief, uh, Timothy Dalton's uh, character, does show up here and Mr. Nobody shows up here. And again, breaks the third wall, which is great. But the good thing about episode five is they fleshed out Jane's character. And now that we know who she is and what she's there for, there's still some questions, but it's uh, fleshed out a little bit more. And we also see, um, by the way, in episode four, we also had negative men fleshed out. Uh, you're going to see if you watch it, the spirit says something and he had to think about it. Something about torture. Um, so episode five, going back, is Mr. Nobody's there and they're hatching a plan to go ahead and try to reverse the decreator. And the good thing about it is this is really, really... It went over the top, weird. But the two-parter really felt like a movie that just continued the story. It just happened to have, in the first part, Mr. Nobody wasn't there, but it's still connected. And that's what I like about this episodes. It was a filler, but it still moved the story forward. So I really like this episode and so far, from episode one to episode five, Doom Patrol has been great. It knows what it is. It knows what tone it should be, and it knows it doesn't fake it out. It doesn't go or deviate from it. Of course, there's some corny stuff there because it is weird, but you just have to go with it, and I think you'll everyone will like it. At, from one to five, I think Doom Patrol is worth the DC Universe. I think they have like free episodes for Young Justice and Titans. And there's a lot more stuff uh, in the DC Universe. You can get the old Shazam or aka Captain Marvel. 
1970 series and of course there's some of the animation or and also animated uh, movies uh, that DC had this is great for DC fans but also I think this is a good introduction to what this uh, platform can be I don't know if it, it is a testing but again it is worth uh, looking into it and if you like it I think you if you watch it I mean I think you'll like it and DC Universe for me as of right now is worth it because the quality of the shows are getting improved, improving. These are the early days like Netflix had. They had they had to rent out other content, but because here they're not renting out the content, it's their own content. It's going to be rolled out a little bit slowly. So again, have you watched Doom Patrol? And if you like the weirdness, Outer Limits meets Superhero, you'll love uh, Doom Patrol. Leave a comment down below of what other weird uh, comic you like. I think uh, DC has gotten a hit here and hopefully they could continue with Stargirl and Swab Thing. I will also review that but before that there's still other videos linked down below and and everywhere else is here. So have a nice day guys. Please uh, subscribe to support my channel and like always that's a wrap.